Welcome to 10 Minute Monday. Today I'm going to talk about categories and how you can use categories to make your website much more powerful. And let's first define what categories are. And it's simply a way to organize your blog posts and how to think about categories. Well, if you go to Walmart, Walmart has tons of departments and each of those departments are like a category. And as you can see, I've got 13 listed as more because I couldn't put them on the screen, but your website is your storefront. So if it's your storefront, the question is, what are you selling? If you're a small business, how many categories should you have on your website? I think you should have no more than five and I'm gonna show you why. Um, because you can have categories, which are the main thing you talk about, and then you can have subcategories and you can have tags. But I'm really focusing on what are the main things that you're talking about? Because there's a lot of benefits to using categories correctly. First of all, visitors can quickly find what they're looking for. And that's one thing that Lee asked last week. She says, I want to make sure that people can find everything I'm talking about. So if they come to her site and they want to learn about startups or, or their business owners, they, she wants to bring them right to the business owners page. The other thing is, this is so awesome for your Google juice because it helps the search engines understand what your site is about. And that gets to be super powerful. Hello. So um, there are two places that I'm going to show you that you can Hello. add categories. And then I'm going to show you the pl three places that you can actually edit your categories. And then the one place you're going to go to boost your SEO for your categories. This is on my test site. Now categories ref refer to your blogs. That's it. They don't refer to your pages. They refer to your blog posts. So if I go to my test site blog area, it shows me right away that I have something that's called uncategorized, which is not great because you really do want to be telling Google what you're talking about. If you have anything that's uncategorized, go to the back end of your site. And this is the first place you'll want to go. Um, or this is the first place that you can go to be able to change your categories. If you're in the new block editor, you have two sections on the right hand side. One is the block, one has to do with whatever block you're working on, but the other is your entire document. So it's going to be in your entire document under this um, little area here that says categories. So when you toggle open that window, you can see right away uncategorized is selected. And why is it uncategorized? Because by default, uh, WordPress puts in uncategorized under the categories section. So I can either choose a category that I've already selected, and yes, you can choose multiple categories if it's something that's relevant, or I can add a new category here. So I'm talking about images. Um, do I want to call that a category? I'm going to call uh, image editing. And I would add the new category here and it automatically selects it. And then I would hit update and now I have a category. The other place that you are able to uh, actually see all of your categories at once and what if you have created is under, so if you go to the back end of your website and under posts categories, that brings up this page here and that shows you all of your categories. So you can see that I just added image editing here so it appears here. If you've already created um, all your categories and you're thinking, well, I really need to get my categories down to five, you are, you're gonna go to post all categories and start here. Say I've got CDs and I've got songs. These probably should be under songs the way I brought things in. So I'm gonna go click edit. CD. And when that comes up under parent category, I'm going to say, well, it's not a none, it's actually under songs. And, um, and then I would update that from here. So there again, if you're deciding that it's time to redo your categories, I really think it'd be easy for you to do it there. The other place that you can do quick updates to your categories is right in your posts pages. Whatever post you click on, you could do a quick edit here or you can select them all. Um, 
and then uh, decide what it is for your categories. You can categorize them there. So say I know that I want this one, uh, this one, this one. I've already decided I've done all my work. And this one, I really want the category to be um, all under uh, image editing. So I would then select that and then click apply. And then it'll quickly then put all of your posts in the right place. This is where, once you have all your categories in place, this one area is going to boost your posts like magic. So under settings, permalinks, because you know each one of your posts has a URL attached to it. And I wanna show you right off the bat. Here is the, um, the post. When I view this post, the way this is set up right now, it gives me my website name and here is my post name because that's all that I've told Google I want them to know right now. But if I really want to give this an extra juice, I would say to Google, I don't just want the post name, I want the category name in there. So I would go to this custom structure and then I would choose down here, category. This is now going to tell Google what I'm writing about. And it's also going to give me the name of my post. The category I'm talking about and the post name, this is like huge. So that is the super quick way that once you have all your categories in place and you're really sure about what you are uh, writing about, what your business is about, you're down to five categories or even fewer. This little action here, and I'll show you then what that looks like. And I, the reason why I say it afterwards is because everything is a link. If you do it before and then you start changing your mind, you're going to have to do a lot of redirects because the old page of somebody brings it up because in our search engines, oftentimes what we've looked at last comes up first and you can see, oops, that page was not found. Why is it not found? Because um, I, I went ahead and changed that. So I'm going to go into here and I have categories, image setting update. Here it is, here's my site name, here's my category, and here is the, the, the name of the post. Nice. So is that making any sense why you really wanna have as few categories as possible? Um, Lee and I were chatting uh, before we began and her website is focused on startups. And yes, $1,000 startups is the name of her website, but she's talking about business startups. So one of her categories is going to be business startups. Another category uh, may be time management. And she's written 130 posts. So right now is a great time, Lee, as you decide what categories, once again, go to the dashboard. And I would start with posts and categories and then see what it looks like and either take what you have and make them subcategories. Um, because that'll help too. And also in the subcategory, you know, how it's gonna list in your URL is gonna be really valuable for you for search. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, well, you are welcome. So thanks so much for reaching out and for coming to the, to the event. I do want to show one more advanced um, training on categories, which then gets into, you can now take categories and you can make pages. So you can actually have a navigation menu just of your categories alone. There are two things in menus, which I'll show you next time. If you are viewing this from the YouTube or from my website, and you'd like to come to my free trainings, please go to my website, fieldsgraphicdesign.com and fill out the form at the top of the page. You will not only get an invitation to join me live, you'll also receive a list of my favorite free resources for great photography that you can use on your website or in any project. And also when you join me live on 10 Minute Monday, you'll be able to ask a question about what I've just trained or even about your own website. So I hope to see you on my next 10 Minute Monday.
Bye for now.